Well, we're looking forward to the season, which I think all coaches are at this time of the year. Um, we've got everybody back except one. We, we only lost one senior. We only have one senior on this team. So the bulk of our team's a bunch of freshmen, sophomores, and definitely some juniors. So um, we're, we're kind of young in some ways, but we got a lot of experience. So we've um, got a diff difficult schedule. We go to Auburn, go to Vanderbilt. We play UAB here, go to Troy. Um, so we, we got a very challenging schedule, non-conference. Uh, I know our conference picked us seventh in one and sixth in the other. Don't know if that'll be a question y'all ask, but I'll just throw it out. So it's probably the lowest we've ever been picked since I've been here, uh, which is probably about right, to be honest with you. So I'm looking forward, and I hope our team's looking forward to uh, um, being better than that. I think we can be, uh, especially given the non-conference season that we play. Um, our only senior is Cassie Williams, who you guys visit with. She's, she's just been solid with us uh, uh, for four years. Looking forward to her to step up. And we've got a lot of other players, Charity Brown and Samantha Fitzgerald, who has start, started most of their careers in the last couple of years that we're really counting on. And we've got several sophomores that were freshmen last year, uh, from Shantae Battle um, to Natalie Armstrong to Michaela Ward, Michaela Willard that we think are really going to help us as well. And Tanasia Hill's another player that will be a junior for us that we think can help. So we've got a good group, I think. We, we're just going to be able to hopefully have seven or eight players that merge out of that group so we can make a run at this thing. The uh, tough opening schedule, non-conference schedule, is that by design to kind of get ready for that? It is. Um, you know, at our level, when we play some of those bigger schools like Auburn and Vanderbilt, we part of that's money, just to be honest with you. We, get, we can get a, a, a guaranteed game to go play that. So that helps our budget, for one, just to be transparent. But two, most of our players, not all of our players, including myself, would rather play those schools in terms of preparation uh, and excitement, but also just within the game, how that can help us and get better and show we're going to be exposed quicker against those teams in terms of whatever weaknesses we have and that's something you can work on because at our level it's all about the conference and the conference tournament uh, so yeah um, it's by design uh, for fiscal res uh, obligations but as much as anything just trying to get better. You mentioned you only one player not returning from last year is this the most returning players you've had for one season and how, how has that been beneficial for you? Well, it's been very helpful. Um, you know, we went on a mission trip in August and, and we played down in the Dominican Republic and we played the national team twice. So we've already practiced a little bit and played some games. So some familiarity with that has, has been helpful. Uh, when you start practice, you don't have to spend a lot of time on teaching drills. Everybody kind of understands what. So that's been very helpful. So we can progress on getting better individually as opposed to just trying to get better at practice. And so uh, I do think uh, just having everybody back besides one's probably the most we've had since I've been here. Coach, with losing Hannah, you lose a lot of scoring. Do you kind of see someone stepping into that role or do you see it as more of like a balanced attack? I think it should be and hopefully more of a balanced attack. And, and I would prefer that just so we can't get double teamed as much because she got double teamed a lot last year, triple teamed. But I do think um, Samantha Fitzgerald and Charity, Tanasia Hill, Shante, Paige Syrup has really practiced well and been a starter for um, in terms of helping us score Cassidy Williams score. Katie Allen was out all last year. She was on the all-freshman team her freshman year. She's a tremendous shooter and scorer. Uh, I think she will help in that score and punch. So I think it will be hopefully a more balanced attack um, that we can make up for those points and a few more. And that, as a coach, that's what you would prefer so you're not, um, the defense doesn't isolate on one or two players. Coach, you mentioned the out of conference schedule and maybe getting a little bit of money for those. What does that do just for Sanford as a whole? I know we've seen it with football, going to play Florida State in Georgia, baseball beating Florida State last right. year. What does that do for just the Sanford brand and the school as a whole? Well, just to be honest, I think it reminds people we're Division One. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and last couple of years ago, we beat one at Georgia. Three years ago, we won at LSU. We've beaten Alabama a couple of times in, in the last six or seven years, I guess. So I think as much as anything, it's like we're Division One too, and we'll all play in the same tournament nationally if we get there. Um, and, and plus, those schools get a lot more coverage, whether it's ESPN, you know, local media, those kind of things. So I think there's a lot of value to that. And if you can win, obviously that just, just really helps that. But I think as much as anything else is just the exposure we can get. And I'm thankful for those schools uh, that want us to come play and thankful that they give us a little money to come play. But the benefit, I think, is greater than maybe 
maybe having a home game or playing uh, maybe a non-D1 here um, uh, is much greater than doing that. So uh, there's a lot of benefit to that. And I'm very thankful that those schools choose to do that.